There's a growing trend amongst individuals who want to thoughtfully fund their philanthropy and put illiquid assets to use. Over the past few years, we've seen an 88% increase of non-publicly traded assets contributed to Fidelity Charitable. Why? Contributing these types of assets is one of the most efficient ways to support charitable causes. There's a growing opportunity when it comes to using private equity interests to fund philanthropy. In this video, we'll take a look at how to donate private equity or PE interests. One of the best strategies to fund philanthropy with PE interests is contributing them to a donor advised fund or DAF. A DAF is a charitable vehicle that allows individuals to make tax deductible contributions to a dedicated account from which they may then recommend grants to other charities. Contributing these assets to a donor advised fund allows for a fair market value tax deduction and can maximize the amount donated to charity. How does it work? In general, a private equity firm uses some of its own capital and capital raised from investors to invest in undervalued companies. The aim? To improve the value of those companies and then take them public or sell them for a profit. This usually happens within five to seven years of the acquisition. Since private equity firms can be structured differently, we'll walk through some scenarios in which these interests can be contributed by partners, investors, and employees of the private equity firm. Now, it's important to know that there is no best scenario just multiple opportunities throughout any firm structure. Let's take a look at the first scenario. The capital raised to invest in these companies is put into a fund. We'll call it Fund 1 LP. As these companies mature and sell for profit, the distributions flow to the fund and then ultimately to the investors and fund managers. In this scenario, the investor or partner can contribute their interest to a DAF when their LP fund interest is near the end of its cycle. Giving this interest will allow the anticipated distributions to flow to the DAF when the remaining portfolio companies sell. However, if there is not the possibility of selling the LP interest, it's generally best to contribute the LP interest in the later stages, closer in time to liquidity events. Let's take a look at another possible scenario. So, how about those portfolio companies? Can those interests be contributed to fund philanthropy? Let's dive into that scenario. Some private equity firm structure does not allow for the in-kind distribution of shares. However, in some structures, a firm sponsoring a secondary public offering may be able to distribute shares to partners prior to the secondary public offering. Those shares can then be used as a charitable contribution to a DAF. In some others, the governing documents allow for an in-kind carry distribution of portfolio company stock to the partners. Those shares can then be used as a charitable contribution to a DAF. Another interest for possible contribution is the general partner interest. The GP is often formed as an LLC. This entity decides which companies to buy, how to grow value, and when to sell these portfolio investments. For this to work, this entity is compensated through a management fee and carried interest, participation in profits that may result from their efforts. Giving this LLC interest can effectively allow the individual to transfer their carried interest from the appreciation generated from all of the investments. Many firms also form various LLCs to enable added or different investments in specific portfolio companies. A co-invest LLC is often a sidecar attached to a single portfolio company, which can be used in many different ways. If the investor contributes their LLC interest before a possible sale, this will allow the anticipated distributions to flow to a DAF. Now, an individual can be even more strategic in planning their contribution of such an asset. Some firms also form carry vehicles or special purpose vehicles to capture the economic interests that are related to the sale of a specific portfolio company. Since the carried interest may flow when a sale occurs, an exit may not be linked to the maturity of the entire GP LLC or the fund. An individual can contribute their LLC interest and if the underlying company sells, the anticipated distributions will flow to the charity. These are some of the possible scenarios on how to use private equity interest to strategically enhance charitable giving. Fidelity Charitable is here to help. Our in-house team of experts can provide guidance and help facilitate the process when it comes to the contribution of PE interests. Call your charitable planning specialist at 1-800-682-4438 to start the conversation today.